I'm originally from Ottumwa, Iowa, and I came um, here to Columbia to go to school at Mizzou and stayed here ever since. I have two boys, uh, Seth and Thomas, and um, they're 13 and 5. And then I have, um, you know, some family here in Columbia too. I came in for a routine mammogram and, um, you know, it came back abnormal so I had to come back for a second one and then I, I was diagnosed with breast cancer um, and I chose to um, receive my care at Ellis. I have had um, invasive ductal carcinoma um, and um, is stage three uh, triple positive and uh, because it was HER2 positive, um, I had to uh, do my chemotherapy first and then followed by surgery. And I chose um, to get a mastectomy because I had multiple um, uh, tumors within um, my breast. So I went ahead and um, we decided the best thing was to go ahead and do the mastectomy following the chemo. There was a lot of panic and I guess I, I was having trouble believing that it could really be happening to me. Um, I, I thought about my kids. They came to my mind first and, you know, just worrying if I was going to be able to be there for them like I needed to be. I guess I was just kind of a mess um, until I came in and talked to um, the surgical oncologist and then the breast cancer um, navigator, nurse navigator came in and talked to me and um, she kind of helped help me have more hope. Um, she, she told me that, you know, that I should be planning on watching my kids graduate from high school and that just, you know, it changed my thinking and made me think, you know, okay, I'm going to do this. My older son, uh, he knew that I was having some testing and he seemed kind of concerned, but I didn't want him to be concerned, you know, and um, I finally, you know, just broke down and, and told him that I was diagnosed with breast cancer and one of his teachers at school had re recently gone through breast cancer and he was in fifth grade, you know, so he's, and he's a really smart boy. Um, and he, uh, he, he just started crying, um, you know, and I told him, I promised him that I was going to do everything I could to fight this and that um, if there's, you know, anything I could do, I was going to get past this. And um, then my, my little one, um, he, I didn't really just, you know, come out and tell him. He, he was, I think, four, no, he was three at the time. But um, I just explained to him that mommy's going to lose her hair and, um, you know, I have to have some nasty medicine that kind of makes you sick, makes your hair fall out, and um, it's going to be a hard time, but we're going to get through it, and, and I love him very much, you know, and he loved my bald head, you know, he, <laughs> he liked to feel it, you know, and he, he tried on my wigs, he... Um, when I had a pick line, I had like a cover that I put over my pick line, like a, it's kind of like a sock, you know, like a tube sock thing. And he would put that on and put on a chemo hat and, you know, run around the house. Like, and he called me chemo girl. Um, and he would play like he was chemo girl. <laughs> so, I mean, to him it was, you know, kind of fun. But then at the same time, he, he stood up in front of his whole class when you had like show and tell or whatever. And um, he explained to his class that his his mom was sick and she was losing all of her hair, you know, and so I know, you know, it was hard on him, but at the same time, you know, he kind of had fun with it too. My mom and dad, you know, were both really upset um, and, you know, my brother and my sister-in-law and my sister-in-law was there with me through everything. She even, when I had complications and had to stay in the hospital, she slept next to me, you know, and um, she was there for all my chemotherapy and I had a really good friend too that was there those two were there with me through the whole through all the chemo all my doctors were really great Dr. Nastala she's just wonderful she's um, 
you know, she'd give me hugs and, you know, just, she's so kind. And, um, the nurse navigator, she would come in and check on me every chemotherapy and ask, you know, answer any questions that I had. And she always put me at ease. She would let me call her, you know, if I needed someone to talk to you about it, you know, she was available, you know, all the time. Um, and, you know, Dr. Koivinen, you know, she, she was really positive and, and Dr. Colbert as well, they, the plastic surgery team, they're just wonderful. Even the residents, all of them, they're just, they make you feel like your family. You have to be willing to walk in there and, you know, have those treatments that you know are gonna make you sick. I mean, it's really, it's really hard to walk in there and, you know, face that. Um, and just, you know, willing to kind of let your old self go and know that, you know, this is going to be the new me. Your body's changed. You know, you've been through so much. You're going to be a changed person, you know, and you just kind of have to be able to let, let that go.